All right, well, talking about businesses, food business is a good one in Nigeria. And uh, one that we would like to talk about this morning is Burger King. If you like burger, well, I guess it's a conversation you don't want to miss. Burger King launched its first store in Nigeria in November 2021 and continues to expand its presence across the country. Currently, the brand has launched eight stores and has plans in a pipeline to launch even more before the end of this year. Never too late. So, I mean, we're ending September, but we still have November. December, October, November, December. So expect more Burger King in your area. But let's uh, get more details on that. Uh, joining us here in the studio, the Chief Operating Officer of Alive Food and Confectionery Services, Mr. Roshdi Ibrahim. Mr. Ibrahim, good morning. Good morning. How has Nigeria been treating you? Oh, from the fantastic. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here today. And to talk about Burger King, you know, it's, it's, it's just been a fascinating journey thus far, you know. Yeah, well, uh, Nigerians, I mean, we love uh, sophistication, so we know Burger King is an international brand, so obviously I'm sure you have uh, had a warm reception from Nigerians since you've been here. So, uh, look, you know, when we entered uh, as a brand into uh, the Nigeria market, it was probably one of the most challenging times. It was just after COVID, and, um, but I must tell you that the Nigerians welcomed us with open arms. It has been nothing short of fabulous. So we opened our first restaurant in um, uh, VI in Ajose, Adegun. Um, people waited in lines for hours and hours to get their first taste of the Whopper. It was, it was just incredible um, uh, to see those scenes and lines. And um, the, So that was the first one in Lagos State. We moved on to uh, um, Abuja and we opened our first restaurant in Guarimpa. Uh, we got a similar reception. The third state we've just moved into is uh, Oyo State, where we've opened our very first drive through restaurant in Ibadan. Um, I must tell you that there is, um, like you said, um, in, there is a great appreciation for quality food served in a clean and friendly environment, and that's what we've seen. So I, um, I see us growing more and more. Hmm. And then you have this have it your way concept. Tell us about that. So, look, you know, Burger King burgers are loved all over the world. Now, one of our very unique concepts is the have it your way concept, where we allow the customers to customize their burgers to their personal preferences. So we believe that every customer should be given the opportunity to tailor their burgers to their tastes. So that, that sets us apart from everyone else where you, know, you have an exceptional dining experience. So you don't come into Burger King just for the burgers. You come in for the burger and the experience. Mm. But you pay for it. A lot of people have the perception that I mean, it's an international brand, it's sophisticated, so it's expensive. How do you serve you know, a larger portion of Nigerians? So, the, so the really great question because affordability is very, very key for us. We don't want to just speaking to uh, a certain group of Nigerians, but instead we want to talk to all Nigerians. So our budget menu, which uh, starts at a very affordable 900 Naira price point, uh, kind of talks to that and is ample proof to say that you know we talk to all walks of life in Nigeria while making sure everybody has their opportunity to have a real burger experience. Mm. Real burger, I hear you. So I see you have budget menu, that's the one you've talked about. Uh, you have your hero products, chicken wraps, priced at 900, you know. So, I mean, you're just trying to make us hungry this morning. I'm at work. <laughs> I'm at work, Mr. Ibrahim. <laughs> yeah, you know, so we will have those burgers for you right after this uh, interview. Look, I think um, when you walk into a Burger King restaurant today, you, it, it'll be very easy for you to order what you want. We have four different categories. We have the uh, signature burgers, which is the premium category. Then we have the classic burgers, which is the core category. And then we have the budget menu. The budget menu, what we wanted to do with the budget menu is to have an affordable price point, but ensure that we don't compromise on quality. It is the same quality ingredients that go into the chicken wrap, which is a new introduction. The budget menu is getting launched on the 9th of October across the country. 
And um, I'm really excited because, again, like I said, we want to talk to all budgetary requirements, not just some. And this kind of talks to the uh, aspect where, you know, we are affordable. Hmm. And Nigeria turns uh, 63 on Sunday. Uh, does uh, Burger King, are, are, you, are you celebrating with Nigeria? What way? We have been celebrating with Nigeria <laughs> since we came into the market. Look, yes, absolutely. So this is an opportunity for us to be a part of the community that we have already been a part of. So we have some great plans. I cannot divulge everything that we're going to do. But what I can tell you is there is a freedom burger that is coming your way um, with a local flavor. Um, so, um, I mean, Nigerians look out for that. And we also have um, a special offer that we are going to link to the 63rd anniversary. So look out for 63 that is coming, uh, something coming your way with the 63 as well. Sounds interesting. I think the most interesting part of what you just said now is having a local flavor to it. Uh, that would be a different burger. I don't think we have burger in existence now that has a local flavor to it. Perhaps I'm wrong, but... So right now we don't have a local flavored burger, but when you talk about um, the local flavor, we appreciate, and, and this is a question that gets thrown at me, so how are you going to localize? Um, so we are the home of the Whopper. We, uh, we have to stay true to who we are as a, a brand, but that said, we appreciate and understand the Nigerian taste palate. It is different. So when we introduced the yam fries, uh, it was to complement our existing menu offerings. Um, we also introduced the um, sweet potato cubes and the plantain, fried plantain. So these were all to sort of complement our existing menu offerings, but there is much more in store, I can assure you that. And that's the 63 burger coming up from Sunday. Uh, we will keep you in suspense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning, Mr. Rishdi Ibrahim, uh, Chief Operating Officer of Allied Food and Confectionery, and for sharing burgers around Nigeria. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure being here today.